So, hi everyone. So, so I am a developer in framework team. Uh, so, I will just show you what is coming next. As everyone said, we don't have any backlog, so developer has their own. So, this is something I am working on. Uh, currently, I am working on this. It is not completed. I just wanted to showcase. Uh, yeah. So I will just show you what I'm working on. So, so you you must have created doc types, and you must uh, you you are adding all those fields in this field table. And to change the layout of the fields, you are using this uh, column breaks, section breaks to make it look according to your need. Current uh, in this v14, we have also added tab breaks. So yeah, so we are using all those things, but it still doesn't give us uh, the, we, we cannot see how it looks. We have to save it and go and check. So I'm working on this form builder thing that where you can actually drag and drop fields and make, make, uh, make it, uh, you can change all the things on there, there only in the UI. So I've added this button for now. So this is how the, uh, web form doc type looks like right now. You can just change uh, the name of the doc type. All the tabs you can see here. All the details of, uh, of the fields you can see in the left section. You can see all the fields here that we have, field types. You can just drag the field from one to any section. You can just rename that. And you can see it is getting renamed here in the label section. So this is just a beta. I'm, it will not look like this. It will look much better in future. But yeah, you can move around stuff. You can move around the tabs. You can move around the fields from one tab to another tab. You can move move the sections also from one tab to another tab. You can add columns, you can move around field from one column to another. You can remove column, delete the section. Yeah. Remove the section. You can reset the changes if you don't want. Yeah. <laughs> so you can Go and uh, so there are so many field types you can search it from here. Uh, if suppose you need a table, search and just drag it here. Uh, you can also use this search tab in the data. So one sec. So if you will go in, we have all the fields of uh, this. Suppose login required. This is a checkbox. It doesn't look like a checkbox right now, but I will fix that later. So all the details you can see, but you don't know if you want to update some field from here, you can use the same search field from here and just search mandatory and just check that. So same f search is used for both fields and <laughs> data. So yeah, that's all about form builder right now. <laughs> so. Uh, I, uh, I was also working on this uh, web, web forms. Uh, so you must have used it in V13. That's how it looks like right now. This is the web form in V13, which doesn't look very nice. So many fields elongated. So uh, I did some refactoring, and this is how it looks now. Maybe try it out in V14. It, and I've also added this uh, multi-step form. If you want different fields in different section, it looks much cooler now. Yeah. I think that's, yeah, that's it.